Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Um, this week, I'm gonna be trying to do a bit more in the kitchen. So, I have just finished filming, making this gorgeous vanilla cheesecake. It is gonna be an actual video up on my channel. So, um, that will be coming next week. So, I'm super excited. I've just gotta pop it into the fridge now for like three hours, and then I'm gonna come back and finish recording me decorating it with some chocolate flake. I've been craving a cheesecake, like homemade cheesecake for the longest time, and I just didn't get around to making it. So I was like, Do you know what? I need to stop being so lazy and actually get a move on with it. <laughs> right, so that is in there for the next three hours. I hope you're all having an amazing week. And yeah, I'm just gonna lick the bowl now do some washing up, clean up my kitchen a little bit and then finish off filming that and I'm not really sure what I've got planned this week, like I said I want to be in the kitchen a bit more, a bit more present in the kitchen, do a bit more cooking and things like that so that's my sort of aim for the week but I really don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I've got a few deliveries later on today guys so I'll probably pop back on once I finish the cheesecake to show you how it looks and then I'll probably show you my deliveries a bit later on I'm not going to tell you what they are so that you are surprised when I show you um, but yeah very very excited I'm back and my cheesecake is finished oh it looks so delicious I took a chunk out of it for the video and also to taste because it's absolutely delicious um, and I'm just gonna go and ask Ron what he thinks and get him to taste it and see what he thinks of the cheesecake it's so good so so good you need to see that video when it comes this week let me know what you guys think if you make it yeah getting ron's opinion <laughs> it's beautiful is it good mm -hmm. yay back in the kitchen again and i'm just making us dinner it's tuesday and although i traditionally do roasts on a sunday i was like you know what i really fancy a roast and I feel like a midweek roast is called for. So I'm making like roast chicken thighs with roast potatoes, Yorkshires and veg. So not like a crazy big extravaganza of a roast, but like nice, simple midweek roast. So yeah, I'll probably show you plating it up because I've already cooked most of it. I was gonna do like a little montage of peeling potatoes and stuff like that, but I was just, in a rush <laughs> to get it on and um, so yeah I'll probably show you guys plating up and yeah that is what I'm doing right now <laughs> is eaten and I am well and truly stuffed that was such a good dinner really really loved it um and I just quickly before I watch some tv and go to bed I wanted to show you guys um three deliveries that I got today and I just wanted to show you yeah what I got and what they were and here they are. First up is my soap scription by Bubble Tea. This is the April Fool's edition. And it says, what is my flavor? So you have to try and smell them and guess what their flavors are. Let me just try and see if I can guess what they are. Pink one. Smells like rhubarb. But it also smells a bit like raspberry. So I'm actually not sure. I think I would say probably like a rhubarb crumble or something like that. That's what I would say the pink one smells like. And also the green one. I would say that's like lemon, lemon meringue pie or something like that. Some kind of lemony dessert or like lemon drizzle cake. 
something like that but this is really cool because they have a competition over on their instagram ron's just strumming in the background they've got a competition over on instagram if you're subscribed to subscription where you can write your flavor guess on the packet take a photo of it and then hashtag what's my flavor or something like that um and you are entered into a competition to win a big prize um if you get the flavors right so i might do that and pop them over on my instagram and see if i get them right next up i have a really cute package from the look fantastic beauty box team now i already got given their monthly beauty box for may but this is like a little special pamper gift box that they've sent to me and this box is not available to buy but the products you can find on look fantastic so i'll link them down below but inside they've given me a skimono beauty mask so this is a hand mask intense nourishment which looks amazing we've also got some sebastian dark oil shampoo and conditioner i've used these before and i absolutely love them i think they're incredible we've also got a real chemistry fresh start foaming cleanser which looks amazing and oh, we've got an elemis product which is a hydro balance day cream i love elemis so i'm really glad that's in here and we've also got a product from my vitamins which is their coconut and collagen capsules um which contain coconut collagen and vitamin c which sound amazing you take two a day so i'm interested to see how these work and i'll leave them linked down below guys you can pick them up on look fantastic these products so thank you so much to look fantastic for sending that over thank you also to bubble tea for sending me over the soap description as well and last but not least i've got my the edge nails um acrylic kit so this is just my little starter kit to get me going on my practicing and my training and um, but yeah let me open this up so let me show you what we have inside so we have some files of different grits um there's a cuticle pusher um tip cutters for the extensions um curved cuticle scissors um we've got loads in here i don't know if i'm going to be able to get it all out but i've got my acrylic powders i've got clear pink and white i've got all of the tip extensions i've got the dappen dishes and the brush i've got like the nail cube buffer um acetone um sanitizing spray also got like manicure sticks we've got nail forms we've got pipettes there's all sorts in here everything that we are gonna need there's a dehydrator there's a primer pen and yeah it just comes with absolutely everything that i'm gonna need to get started and honestly like i'm so excited i can't wait so yeah that was all my deliveries that i got today i've got one more delivery coming tomorrow which i'll show you when it arrives tomorrow and yeah guys i'm gonna watch some more waterloo road with ronald eat loads of cheesecake in bed and then go to sleep that's my plan so i will catch you guys soon <laughs> happy wednesday guys it's wednesday morning um i've just finished pin curling my hair but some of them have started to drop out because it's been a, a while now um and i'm just about to do my makeup i'm getting ready because i just got an email saying that my may glossy box is on its way it's with my courier so i'm getting ready to be able to film that video today so it's another filming day for me it was a filming day yesterday with the cheesecake recipe now it's another filming day with the May Glossy Box, but that is absolutely fine. I'm excited. I love receiving my Glossy Boxes. It's like one of my favourite days of my month. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do my makeup and then take out the rest of my pink house. This side stayed so nicely. This side, like, it just started falling apart. I don't know what happened. <laughs> the sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. And yeah, I'm looking forward to what the day holds.
I haven't done proper pin curls on myself in a really long time. Um, I normally just think it's like too much effort, um, but I've actually forgotten how gorgeous the result from pin curls actually is, guys. So if you want a video with me showing you how I put up my pin curls and everything, then just let me know, guys, because I would be more than happy to do that for you because it's actually such a beautiful hairstyle to do. <laughs> Filmed the glossy box video. I got the zebra edition and um, was a little bit gutted because I really wanted the leopard one <laughs> because it had the EOS lip balm in it, which I absolutely am dying to get my hands on. Um, but yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I love every product in there. So I'm happy that I got that. So I just filmed that. I'm just editing and uploading on my bed now and I've changed back into some slouchy clothes because I was feeling a bit cold <laughs> that was like a bit breezy in that cute dress it is really really cute but I needed to get back in some joggers and a hoodie and I don't know when you're glammed up with makeup and hair and everything and you're in comfy clothes I don't know why it just feels very different it feels kind of cool I feel like I'm a cool person when I do that. I don't know why. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for that to upload now. And then once I've uploaded it, I think I'm going to go and treat myself to some cheesecake. I think that's just the way it's going to have to go today. I'm just going to be sat editing, eating cheesecake. And I also managed to edit my caramel frappuccino video, which is going up on Friday. So I'm already ahead of the game. So I don't have to do any more editing now until Saturday when I edit this up, up this weekly vlog. That's what it's called. I completely forgot what it was called then. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Happy Thursday, guys. Um, we had a bit of a busy morning. Um, it's three o'clock in the afternoon now and I thought I would do a little bit of sort of kitcheny things for the boys. <laughs> So we're going to do some decorating biscuits and then <laughs> we're going to do some decorating biscuits and then to have with their biscuits I'm going to make them some banana milkshakes yeah. so that's what we're going to do yeah. right now and yeah let me show you what I've got set up for them so far. So we're literally just going to be decorating some digestive biscuits. I've made up some icing, um, just icing sugar and water to make like a runny icing. I've got some like mini marshmallows, some sprinkles, some right icing, and also some like little raisins and dried cranberries just in case they want some of those on there. So yeah, that's what I've got set up. I've got their two little plates ready and we're just going to decorate some biscuits. Right, so the boys have finished making their biscuits, haven't you boys? Yeah. They look so cool. Right, now we're going to make your banana milkshakes. Yeah. Right, so I'm just going to blend their milkshakes. This has two bananas, 250 ml of milk and a scoop of vanilla ice cream in it. And I'm just going to blend it and that's their milkshake. <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in these really cute glasses for them, top it with a bit of whipped cream, and good to go. Ah. Like that. Yes, please, Mama. Yes, please, Mama. Ah. There you go, there's your We're going to have a white moustache. <laughs> right, pop your little metal straws in. Oh, that's going to be good. Is it good? It's just like a banana. <laughs> Is it good? Awesome. I made one each for me and Ron as well to enjoy. <laughs> good morning everybody and happy Friday. It's Friday, it's a bank holiday, but I'm still gonna be working. <laughs> um, I am currently awake nice and early to make a change. Like I've been having quite a lot of sleep ins recently um, but I've decided to wake up nice and early this morning I just wanted to try and have like a positive mindset like my mind's been going down like my mental health has been decreasing slightly so I'm like trying to actively 
push it up um so i've started a, another detox you guys know i love a good detox and this is the teamy detox um the 30 day detox i've actually done a full vlog um on my channel it's my how i lost four kilos in 30 days and it was by following the teamy 30 day detox so i don't know i don't think i'm gonna vlog it this time like i'll update you on these weekly vlogs obviously but um i'm not gonna do a full video on it this time it was a lot of pressure last time and i just want to do it for my mental health and i don't know i feel like what you put into your body reflects a lot on your mental health as well and also how i look so like my weight and my food i consume can like, contributes quite a lot to my mental health so i thought let's try and turn that around be a bit more positive so yeah i'm doing my 30 day detox starting from today mm. still a little bit hot i actually like the tea to like be cold when i drink it i don't know why i just like cold coffees and cold teas <laughs> um so yeah i'm currently working on my laptop i have uploaded my video already for today um it's not live yet and um, I've scheduled it for four o'clock because that's my usual sort of upload time during the week and then Sundays it's normally like 9am that I like to upload so it's all ready to go it's how to make caramel frappuccinos so if you haven't already seen it guys you need to go check out how I make my caramel frappuccinos it's such a quick little video but you might learn something really valuable <laughs> from it um, and now I'm just doing some training on COVID-19 and um, health and safety procedures for my beauty business. So we obviously do health and safety um, training, but this is like a whole new, whole new ball game. So I thought I would do a training course on it and get a certificate in the COVID-19, like how it's transmitted and how to fully make sure that I'm doing everything I possibly can, like when lockdown starts to ease off that i'm doing everything i possibly can that i've got the right ppe when i'm working with clients um so yeah i'm just going through all that training now and hopefully i'll have my certificate by the end of the day and um, it's going to take quite a couple of hours to do the course and do like the um test and everything like that but yeah i'm really looking forward to getting this done and being fully prepared for going back to work and then later on I'm going to have a go at doing my first um, lot of acrylic on a fake hand. So there's been lots of practicing on like paper, like they do um, like printouts and like you put them into like a plastic folder and you can do the acrylic on top of it. But I actually want to do one on my fake hand that I've got um, for practicing. So I'm going to do a round on my hand my fake hand and then I think I might do a video doing my own acrylics now I'm not fully qualified in nails yet I have done bits of my training um but I'm not fully qualified yet but I just thought I've seen so many people do videos um where they're all doing their own acrylics at home because of isolation and I thought I'm gonna have a practice go on my hand my fake hand and then I actually might give my own nails a go now I know it's very very different doing it on someone else and doing it on yourself and also um just in general like once I'm qualified it's going to be a lot easier <laughs> um but yeah I'm really excited um so I think that might be a video that I film later as well so yeah let me know if that's something you'd like to see and I will catch you guys later once I finish my course and I've I'm practicing nails <laughs> I am currently sat in my kitchen just getting some nail practice in guys so I thought I would show you me practicing doing some acrylic nails.
I'm so proud of them. I think they look awesome. Afternoon, guys. It's Friday afternoon, and I've just finished filming, doing my own acrylic nails. Boom. I don't think they're actually that bad. I mean, they're definitely not the best, and my right hand, doing it left-handed, leaves something to the imagination. <laughs> Um, but actually, I don't think they went too badly. So let me know if you're excited for that video. It should be up probably this week. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll have that up for you very soon after this vlog goes up. And yeah, I'm actually kind of loving them. They're really secure as well. Like I did a really good job on like the Oh, I've done a really good job with like the arches of the nail as well, like getting the arch right. Getting, I'm impressed with myself for my first time doing acrylics on myself. Like I'm shook. I love it. <laughs> um. So yeah, guys, I am literally done for the day, which means I'm done with this weekly vlog. I've done so much this week, so I really hope you like this vlog. If you did, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe down below, guys. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.